afternoon. And welcome. I'm Bill Lafergie. I'm the acting director of NDIF, which is the National Digital Information Infrastructure and Preservation Program, which I'm sure you all have memorized. This is the ninth year of our meetings. And uh, it's amazing what's happened over the course of those nine years. There's all kinds of new devices, uh, new kinds of information and services, and of course, all kinds of new data which has come into being in that time. But it's really remarkable, and I think back to when we first got started in 2004, um, and how far we've come. Uh, not that we've reached the end of the road by any means, but we certainly have made tremendous progress in terms of our ability to bring content under stewardship and to serve it and to uh, maintain data over time. And a lot of what we're able to do these days uh, would have been hard to imagine when we first got started that we made that much progress. Um, but one thing, uh, I remember this very clearly when we got started in 2004, was one of our principal goals was really to build a community around the whole process of uh, digital stewardship. Um, there was sort of a nascent community at that time, um, but uh, I think uh, with all of you, uh, with all of your help over the last number of years, we really have managed to, to build a, a large and vibrant community, which has really contributed, I think, a lot to progress that we've been able we've been able to make. And it's evident by seeing all of you here today that uh, that community is thriving, and thriving uh, into the years ahead, clearly. Uh, now, I'm not going to say that all the problems that we face are solved, because they certainly aren't. Uh, there are some uh, prickly things that are hanging out there, uh, things like automating and scaling up our preservation workflows. Um, access and analysis of very large data collections. We have some very, very large data sets now of textual and other materials, websites. Um, it would be great if we could be able to do more in terms of analysis with that material, or to sponsor analysis of that type of material. Uh, preserving personal digital materials, uh, something I think about a lot. That's going to be a very interesting frontier over the next few years because we all have our smartphones. Uh, we're all generating content uh, really milling, and it's it's piling up, and it's going to present a challenge uh, for people, for individuals, and I think increasingly for for institutions. And then another thing that I like to think about, and I, I like to think about it as democratizing di digital stewardship. We have the Library of Congress and some of the other large and medium-sized organizations uh, have been able to, have really been able to make progress and they have been able to do a lot uh, over the last number of years and have managed to build some pretty impressive collections. But if you look at smaller institutions, many of them are still struggling. Uh, many of them have barely begun. Uh, a number of them have not begun. Uh, and there's a number of reasons for that, but I think for us, at least at the library with our goal of a national digital preservation, digital stewardship uh, approach. I think we've got to be able to find a way to push those capabilities out further to smaller institutions. Um, all hard issues, but I think with the success we've had over the last number of years, there's every reason for optimism that we'll continue to make progress. Now, meetings like this are really important. Um, they uh, learn, we learn about better ways to do things, but maybe even more importantly, what they do is they inspire us. They help us think about issues a little bit differently, and when we're lucky, that inspires innovation and creativity. So it's, this goal, it's with this goal in mind that we select the various speakers uh, that we invite people to come talk to us. And uh, we've, I think, done a especially good job this year 
in terms of lining up some speakers who have some really interesting things to say. And first up is Hillary Mason. Uh, Hillary is the chief scientist at Bitly, uh, which studies the internet in real time, doing a mix of research, exploration, and engineering. Hillary describes herself as an enthusiastic member of the larger conspiracy to evolve the emerging discipline of data science. She's received many recent honors, including listing in the Forbes 40 Under 40 Ones to Watch, and has been in a dizzying array of publications, including Glamour, Fast Company, and Scientific American. She's written, uh, which I, I personally enjoy these very much, she's written a wonderful series of articles about speaking habits for introverts and nerds. <laughs> and likes to give talks that have spoken eloquently on topics such as machine learning, colon, a love story, <laughs> and how to replace yourself with a very small shell script. So please join me in welcoming Hillary Mason. 